Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome um, to Cheryl's Creations. Um, another trip around to see what I've come up with this time. Uh, if you're new, um, click that subscribe button and you can hit the bell and it'll let you know when I put up new videos. Um, I love having people stop in, kind of see what I'm working on. Um, I just, I just love to crochet on my, on my groomies. It's been so much fun. So I just like to share them with everybody. So it is um, another week. I do have some finished objects. Well, two, but they're the same thing. But it's okay. Um, so <clears throat> I've been wanting to try some new patterns. And right before Christmas, I think I, I downloaded, I don't know, 15 new patterns from Etsy. And a couple of them were ones that I had been eyeing for a while. And the one is the Jumbo Turtles by uh, Crochet by Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Um, I have no idea if she watches or not. <laughs> Um, she has a really big channel. She's also on Instagram. She's on, I don't know what else, but, um, she puts out some really great patterns and she's been doing a lot of turtles and there's still some more of her turtle patterns that I want to do, but I just haven't got there yet. But I did the jumbo turtle or no. Her pattern is a life, life size turtle. Um, mine are not quite life size because she uses the number seven uh, bulky um, like chenille or blanket yarns. I didn't have any of that, but I figured, well, the other thing she uses, I think is a size nine needle. Okay, so um, I used regular six weight Bernat blanket and I used a number eight needle. And um, I'm gonna show you the second one I did first because um, it turned out a little bit differently than the first one. So the, the second one I did is this little person. Do you see that smile? your little eyebrows. Um, I used this variegated and it is a Bernat and you know I was gonna bring the name over here with me but I forgot it's back there on my shelf but <laughs> this is a uh, a variegated you can still get. Um, it's got pinks and a little bit of grays and blues. Uh, that's a navy blue and a dark pink. And a little bit of lavender and I used um, the color sand um, and this is out of the baby section baby Burnett um, sand color and this is kind of how big she turned out so I didn't stuff her shell extremely full okay so this is how wide she is um, but I think she's a really great size. I don't think, I don't think I'd really sell a whole lot of the bigger ones, but this is a really great size. Um, and I'm going to use them as, you know, eye catchers, you know, attention getters um, in my booth. Now, if they sell, they sell. These were so easy to make. Let me tell you, this pattern is easy. Um, you do your, your flippers first. Okay. And these are basically circles. You fold them other, o over, crochet them together. Okay. You do all four of your flippers. You do two front ones, two back ones, and you make the tail. Then you do the shell. You start with your top color and you crochet until you get to the end of that. And then you start with your body color. And you leave holes for the legs and the tail. And about four or five rows in, you stop, you attach these. Um, 
finish your body out and then attach your head. You do the head. Um, these are very easy. Um, now, these are at least a 30 millimeter eye. I think that's the biggest eye I have. Um, so these do take a good sized eye. I did use just plain black um, four weight for the mouth and the eyebrows and the, and the eyelashes. And so, um, you know, this is, this is the second one. So the first one I did is bigger. <laughs> he's this big, but he's this wide. I mean, look how wide he is. The difference is I stuffed him fuller. Um, and I don't know why I didn't, I just, I kind of wanted to see a little bit of a difference. Um, this is the color for him. It's blues, light blues, dark blues, medium blues. Um, and again, this is a Bernat. It's a regular Bernat, not a, <clears throat> I don't think it was any spe in the, any of the special sections. Um, and this was a, a Bernat also. <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> excuse me. In the pattern, if you do the actual life size that she talks about, she talks about using two skeins or bundles, balls of the body color and one for the shell. Using the regular Bernat, I used a half a skein for the shells and a skein and not quite a half. For the bodies. So I got this all together with with just a tad less than two skeins. So um, I don't think that's bad. It makes my market price a little more reasonable. Um, so this is the face. Now you will notice that his head's a little cockeyed. A lot of my heads are a little cockeyed because, you know, mine's not squared, you know, screwed on straight. So I, I don't expect them to be. So, but I love his little expression. He looks like he's kind of looking up. Um, but this is him. And, um, you know, so if you look at size wise, I don't know if you can kind of see him. Um, you know, just a tad bit of size difference, you know. If you're looking at height wise, um, you know, this one's a little bit taller because I, I stuffed it more. So, um, so that's, those are my two turtles. I have been watching her and uh, watching crochet by Jenna. And I just, I just love these turtles and I've seen her make them and she talks about them in her videos. And, um, so I wanted to do them. Um, and one of the things that she's also been doing, um, she's doing a Valentine's turtle where you can add a bow or a heart to the top of the shell and give it a little bit of character there. She's, oh, she also just did a dragon and I cannot wait for her to release the dragon, um, pattern. So I'll link, um, or I'll, I'll put her... Uh, I'll tag her um, in my, the description of my video so that you can go back and see what kinds of things she does. She's a young gal um, uh, and she just does fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And um, I, lo I love several of her patterns. So um, thank you, Jenna, for the turtle pattern and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and um, I hope that you guys do. If you if you do them, you know, put me a picture um, and show me kind of what colors and stuff you use. And um, so I can't wait to see that. So that's my makes for this week. Um, so again, Bernat, regular Bernat blanket with an eight millimeter will get you these. And I can even tell you, I've got, this has got a, let's see, they are... They are about 18 inches long from nose to tail. So um, I think that's a, that's a really nice size. 
Um, so I'm on to my next project. Um, I'm still working on some stacking ring toys. Um, I did get an order for a llama. So those will be some things coming up soon. Um, hopefully have some stuff this weekend. Um, I'm supposed to go to a wedding this weekend and the weather is supposed to be horrible. So I'm not sure. And the wedding is in a country setting. It's out, um, it's out in the country. <laughs> And uh, with the wind and some of the snow we're supposed to get, I'm not sure that this is gonna that this is gonna fly very well. So we'll see what happens. I mean, my cousin was supposed to get married, I believe, the week of the blizzard of '78, because I remember a ton of snow. She was all worried about people getting to the wedding. You know, what are we gonna do with this? What are we gonna do with that? And you know, basically, my dad, who was my dad was her photographer and my dad told her, you know, the only two people that have to be there is you, him, and the preacher. So I, I, I remember them getting married. I think they ended up getting married February 4th um, or somewhere in that neighborhood, but it was during all of that blizzardy stuff that they were supposed to get married. So I can just imagine how my friend is, is kind of panicking just a tad um, about her wedding. Um, and she's very detail oriented. So I, I hope it all goes well um, for her. And uh, so, yeah, I think that is about it. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Come back and see me again. I love hanging out with my crochet friends. And oh, I have a new crochet friend. Um, I hope um, I got a, a an email message from a gal that is not on Facebook, um, but saw my stuff on Instagram. And um, she is from Indiana. She's probably about an hour and a half south of me. And I was so excited because, you know, Indiana folks are Indiana folks. So I have a fellow Hoosier crafter uh, that, that reached out. And so I gave her my YouTube information and hopefully she'll find her way. Um, so I'm so excited about that. Hi, Hope, if you joined me. Um, so um, invite your friends, come along and see what I'm up to the next time. And uh, I will, I will, uh, get moseying on. So crochet away, everybody.